flow meter calibration, you're going to make sure that you have all your equipment set up correctly. Uh, this is the new attack. Make sure you have that connected to a, uh, a, a moisture filter, connected to a liquid trap. And then from there, we're going to connect them to, to that assembly. And we're going to run that to our two-way, our three, or yeah, the two-way breathing valve. And you connect this to the clear side that's uh, with the blue line. Okay. okay, and then from there, this is our uh, three liter calibration syringe. Just set this right on the table. Now we're going to plug this like so. Make sure it's nice in there, nice and snug. Make sure all everything's tightened well. Um, and this is the setup for flow meter calibration. Say so for flow meter calibration in the system, we will obviously want to click the flow meter calibration button. Uh, the same prompt is going to come up like you did for gas calibration. The values are the same as when you entered them for gas calibration, so they shouldn't be any different. So click sample baseline. Um, what it wants you to do is uh, one detection stroke, four flushes. So those are just kind of like practice strokes. You want to make sure you start with the syringe need or the syringe plunger all the way in. And you're going to give it um, five practice strokes. You can try doing it at different speeds because uh, once we get to actual four meter calibration, you're going to have to do it at various speeds. That's all five. Of, that's all five of those. For the next five, it's actually looking for strokes. Um, if you look right here, you see this yellow line. Uh, for the very first stroke, we want to just get it barely above the yellow line, so that's going to be at a, a slow stroke speed. So you can focus mm -hmm. on this one. Okay. Oops. Between 50 and 100 liters per minute. And then the next one, you want to go above the dotted line. But just barely, so that's going to be about 150 liters per minute. And then the system will automatically make a new dotted line. You want to get it above that dotted line as well. Okay. And then you have two more. Just keep going above the dotted line. You're going to have to keep going faster and faster each time. That ends um, flow calibration in terms of moving the syringe. Um, here you want to look at low and a high percentage. If there's greater than a 5% difference between these two, you need to redo uh, flow meter calibration. Here we only see a 0.7 difference, so we're fine, so we can hit save. 